Hey everyone, back with a quick update video to a product I've been covering for quite a while now, the Fixter S1, which I did a review for right at the start of creating my channel. And back then it was known as the Switch Fix, but uh, the name had to be changed due to trademark issues. And I was sent a prototype model at that time, which was just 3D printed. I did a review for that one. And then just recently I did another review of the final production unit, which is this one right here. And uh, now I have the latest in the Fixture line that I really think makes a huge difference in the portability and usability of this accessory. I was super excited to get it in the mail and to not just reiterate everything I did in the previous video. I'll leave a link to that down in the description. I'll leave a card here as well if you'd like to check out that review where I go more into the specifics of the Fixture itself and then compare the differences with the final production unit of the prototype. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave that right here. But what we're going to be talking about today is this case right here, which um, actually holds the entire fixture setup. So I really think that was the last piece that needed to be included in this equation here to really make this a super convenient portable accessory. I'm a fan of the fixture. It offers this really cool alternate play style for the Switch, but it really wasn't a totally portable option. You just kind of have to pack it separately and bring your case with your Switch and all that other stuff. And then this was just something that you would throw in your bag, which obviously isn't a huge inconvenience or anything, but I really love that now it's one all-encompassing package. And real quick, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on everything happening with the channel. And with all that out of the way, let's check this case out. So, like I said, I'm not gonna go into deep detail about the fixture again here, but it is this controller mount for the Pro Controller, and it allows you to attach your Switch screen directly to the Pro Controller. So sort of like the xCloud game clips where you can attach a controller to your phone to kind of have the display right in your hand. Totally a similar concept. I don't think there are a ton of Nintendo Switch Pro Controller clip options out there. So at least for now, Fixer has kind of cornered the market on this and it's a super simple accessory, but I have always appreciated the attention to detail and the quality of the product. So here's the Fixer you simply clip your Pro Controller into the bottom here. Get it lined up just so. Clip it in, and there you go. And then one of the updates that I really appreciated with the final production unit is these pass-through holes here. So while you're using the fixture, you can still charge your Pro Controller or you can pass it through this notch here pull the cord through and then plug it into the bottom of uh, the Switch tablet. So, you know, you don't have to worry about taking everything apart again to charge it. So I thought that was an awesome addition. And then if you can see here, there's these little guide arrows that just go directly into the Joy-Con rails. So you actually slide it up from the bottom here. Sorry, the angle's a little awkward to work with. And there you go. Let's turn it on. Got a little Luigi's Mansion going on here. Sorry about the glare. And then there you have it. There is the entire fixture unit. And I said it before in the previous video, people kind of always ask, oh man, that looks really heavy or that looks like it might be uncomfortable in your hands. But the fixture addresses that by making this top part really adjustable. So you can adjust the angle here and then as well at the base there. But then you can also change how high up you have these uh, Joy-Con rail locks on the screen. And with all that flexibility, it's perfect for kind of dialing in the perfect balance in your hands, which when you find that sweet spot, it makes it feel somewhat less heavy um, because it's kind of holding that perfect balance. So in short, that's the Fixture S1. You can buy this final production unit from FixtureGaming.com. It's currently listed for $34.99. It was a little bit cheaper when it was an Indiegogo perk, but I think even at $34.99 for the quality and the attention to detail, that's a totally fair price. And I'll put this aside just for a minute here. But now you can fit that whole fixture in this case here which 
is a nice size, you know, it's not as wide. Let me move this as well so you can get a nice view of it here. It's not as wide as like a standard switch case, obviously, because you don't have to make room for the Joy-Con, but it's definitely a little bit uh, thicker or taller to fit this entire contraption inside. But, you know, standard hard shell case with this nice cloth exterior. Feels really quality. I do like the little color accents on the zipper there, the little mint colored logo. Everything just seems, you know, nothing crazy, but definitely nice quality. And then when you open it up, you've got this cool cutout for, uh, molded cutout for the Pro Controller and the Switch screen. And then you have game slots for up to 10 games, which is really nice. This is just kind of like a neoprene material. And then another nice feature is this top pouch. This part feels a little thin, this like neoprene material up here. I'd maybe be a little concerned about that eventually tearing or, or coming away at the seam, but it's super soft, really nice. And then you have pretty adequate space up in the top here. So you can throw easily a pair of Joy-Con, um, probably some other charging accessories, and maybe a couple other games. Could fit quite a bit up in here, so that's nice if you're maybe wanting to switch between using the fixture and using the Joy-Con in handheld mode. And then you just toss the whole thing in here when it's folded up nice and flat like this. You wanna make sure your rails are all the way to the bottom of the switch screen so that the screen is positioned, you know, far up enough to fit inside the case. And there you go. And now you have this whole contraption and it's completely portable. So I think this is a great addition to the fixture lineup. Whether or not this is going to make sense for you as an accessory is kind of how uncomfortable you find the stock Joy-Con. If you're someone who's playing in handheld mode a lot or you're doing a lot of traveling, the Pro Controller just has obviously better ergonomics and then better joysticks, bigger buttons. That's why they call it the Pro Controller. It's just kind of a step up from the Joy-Con that are kind of compromises for their portable nature. So if you're playing something like Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity or Smash Brothers or Hades and you're doing that on the go, and feeling like the Joy-Con just aren't cutting it, they're not quite comfortable enough. This is an awesome accessory to have. And now that you can fit the whole thing in this case and take it portably, um, I think that just makes this an even better option. And I'm really happy for everyone over at Fixture that you know it's kind of been a long road here, but I feel like this is the final evolution of the product. And yeah, I don't know that there's much else to say about it other than that. Again, if you want more detail about the fixture itself, check out my previous review of it. And yeah, I think that's gonna do it. You can pre-order this case through Indiegogo. I guess it's not available quite yet, but it is available on Fixture's Indiegogo page for $18, which I guess is a 10% discount of what the final sale unit will be. And that is estimated to ship out in February of this year, of 2021. So just a couple months away. If you wanna claim the perk, you can expect to get this in a couple months. If you're someone who's already got the Fixture and, and wanted to have a nice case to put it all together with. And if you're getting the fixture itself and the case, you're looking at around $53 total. So you're spending a little bit of money, but I do think if you're someone who loves the feel of the Pro Controller, maybe you only play docked at home because you love the Pro Controller so much, this really gives you an option for that at home feel on the go. So yeah, I don't wanna go on too much longer about this. I hope that was helpful for you guys and hopefully raised a little awareness around an accessory that I think is really awesome but doesn't seem to be widely known yet uh, within the Nintendo Switch community. And I think that's gonna do it. So until the next video, thanks so much for watching. Happy New Year and I'll see you next time.